Terry from Kombucha Home. Oh my gosh. Basically, it's got a head like a bear. I'm gonna put the sieve in. This is what's in my kitchen at the moment. And I'm gonna get my pickles. I'm just showing you a few combinations. kombucha ferment here. This of course is the first ferment and as you can see I've got a lot of little scobies or mushrooms that they're, that they're called that are inside of here and um, we've got recipes online and I'll talk more about that in the future but this here is one of my many different flavors that I have and as you can see I've got little tags that I check up I'm experimenting with different flavors that I do but um, this is the airlock and you for second ferment, um, first of all, this is fermented. The first ferment is fermented for approximately two weeks. In this case, for me, uh, this is going on three weeks because I didn't put very much mother starter in because I was doing so many experimentations. I had a little bit less, so I've got to leave it a little longer to ferment. So I wanted to, here's two of the many flavors that I'm experimenting with, but I just wanted to show you this here. Uh, I, we just opened this about an hour and a half ago, and I'll um, open it again. But this was just, oh. okay, here we go. Now this is almost not cold, but you can see if you look closely, there's still quite a bit of head on it. And it, when we poured it just a little early, it was just like having a three inch head. But I'm going to use my, whoops. Okay, I've got ginger in this one. You can see the ginger coming out. But I just wanted you to give you a little close up. Almost two hours later, we've still got some foam, so it's absolutely delicious, full of life, full of vitamins, and fantastic. Better than anything you can buy, really, and I mean that. You try to taste difference yourself. Mm -hmm. 